I'm talking about cash, y'all. Dividends. Skrilla? Cheddar. Benjamins. Clams. I'm talking about clams today. Know any more slang words for money? Let me know in the comments below. So I had all these properties, but I couldn't afford to upgrade them. I couldn't afford to pay my crew members and I was severely undergeared. So let me tell you what I did. So first thing I did was I went with Mabel Riley. And the reason why I went with Mabel is because she has what is called the fair price diplomatic bonus, which gives her a plus 10% chance for a trade acceptance. In other words, she's going to have better trade deals with other gangs and you're going to really want that. And you'll see why in a minute, not to mention her boss ability swindler shot is amazing. So I don't know if it's the best boss ability out there, but I was able to kill about four rival gang members with just one shot because it ricocheted and AOE'd all of them. And once you gear up and I'm going to show you how to do that, you are going to be annihilating rivals left and right. The first thing you're going to want to do when you start a game is go ahead and turn off the tutorial. This is going to automatically bring you to the first quest where you're going to have to hold five rackets. The reason why you want to actually skip the tutorial is because you want to start making money as soon as you can and you don't want to have to pay for hired help. Not right now. You're not going to need it. Start off by doing the easiest rackets first the ones with the difficulty of one or two. Then once you get a little bit of gear, we can start doing the three out of five difficulty. So the goal isn't actually to take over or hold five rackets. The goal is to ransack as many as you can because you're gonna get more loot that way. And also it's gonna take money to take over rackets and you do not wanna do that yet. So don't be afraid to just ransack it. Don't worry about trying to acquire territory yet. In between doing these rackets, you want to try and meet bosses. So meeting bosses is pretty easy. All you got to do is go to the map and look for territories that you've never been to. Sometimes you'll see an icon like this where you don't know who actually lives there. But if you head to that area, chances are the boss is going to approach you. And also you can look for areas where you actually see that it is lit up with different colors of different bosses. You can go directly to their safe house. That way, as soon as they approach you, you can do a sit down right away. This is actually really important because this is how you're going to find different crews to negotiate with and trade with. The more you trade with bosses, the better your rating gets. And I suggest that you start with Mabel because she gets a good head start. You want to try to prioritize money, but you're going to see that they're not going to have enough money. So they're going to compensate by giving you better weapons and consumables. And this is how you're going to gear up with epic guns, plus get some for your crew members. So to trade with them, you're actually going to go to this icon here and then you're going to go here. Go ahead and click on your character's icon to select the items that you want to trade and click on the boss's icon to select the items you want from them. Make sure that you save face for every uh, mafioso you come across. You want to try to make as many friends as you can and you get to backstab all of them later. Eventually they're going to get jealous of each other and they're going to ask you to backstab other bosses in the back. They're going to give you money. They're going to give you crew members to work for you that are better than the default ones. So go ahead and say yes, yes, yes. And with about a hundred thousand, I was able to fully upgrade two properties. I recommend fully upgrading one property and saving some money so that you don't go broke so that you can hire a few more crew members and rinse and repeat this process. You want to make some clams? Don't be a dew dropper. So before you get spliffocated at that gin joint, make sure you hit a like and subscribe. Hey pops, keep that beat a beat. I feel a rhythmic brainstorm coming on. One, two, keep that rhythm heating. One more rhythm like that and I'll be gone. Oh man, don't stop now, we're jumping. Give everything to Lord now. This thing might turn into something. I ain't mistaken, here comes something now. 